guys, Josh Moon with The Producer's Kitchen here, and I'm wanting to share with you some really cool things. I've talked a ton about Max for Live Essentials, and so now I thought I would show you a couple of cool devices, mainly control devices in Max for Live, that are just really helpful. So I'm just gonna list some of the ingredients we're gonna be using today. ARP, envelope, expression control, device randomizer, MAP8, multi-MAP, LFO, and envelope. I just have one track here, and I'm using Poly, which is also a part of Max for Live Essentials. So you also get instruments in here as well. So let's just start with the ARP over here. This top section up here gives you the options for the ARP. So here, this section is for the octave. If I say like up one, down, up. And then random. And then this one is for if you're playing chords. So if I want to play a chord here, that's down, up, just playing the chord together. Random of the notes in the chord, uh, straight through. You have your divisions, triplets, sync. Uh, you could do free, you could swing it. You can set the velocity here. I can also set a range. So say I only want it to go, even though it's at a quarter note, oh, this is 16. I could just have it at two or I could have it at three. Oh, there we go. So you have that freedom, length, note, Really great for glides. You can also map anything inside of a live to uh, this ARP as well. And then there's an advanced, uh, and I'll let you take a look at that. Cool, so we just have a nice, nice little ARP here. This is a MIDI note monitor. So if you downloaded my MIDI note info, that is nothing compared to this one. So it gives you on offs, note, uh, it gives you the type of MIDI that's coming through. So it's a MIDI monitor, not even a note monitor. Give you a channel when it came in in time. Uh, it doesn't give you the pitch and a couple other things that I offer, but uh, it just kind of depends on what you're using. 